Like he came from a day Burger was sitting on the ground Then I get like this I can't be around I love the autumn <laughs> especially early autumn because it's the end of summer but you know it's kind of not over yet you still have the leaves on the trees and you still have vibrant colors all around in flowers for example I got these from my garden I picked these from my garden and I've grown them hand grown them darling and just to show you I've got some dahlia and uh, red rose and some other roses. This is burgundy ice rose, one of my favourites, and some wildflowers and salvia and so on. And I don't know, I just feel that in London especially, it's sunny, it's bright, the rain is just light and mild, and it's just not cold yet. It's not winter yet. It's not true autumn yet. This is early autumn, so I'm going to show you some beautiful perfumes that you should try during this lovely lovely beginning of the season. The fruits that are in harvest now, you have pear, apples, like berries, like black currants and blackberries, raspberries, they are present. So I feel that the perfumes that you should wear, obviously this is not a rule, but the perfumes that you should wear should kind of like complement that as well. So here are some perfumes that I think that you might enjoy during your early autumn strolls, intimate moments and date nights or just everyday walks and going to the office or going to work or whatever you do, I hope that you enjoy my recommendations. Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme, Eau de Parfum is a lovely, lovely, cosy perfume. It has a combination of soft vanilla, white florals, orange blossom, marshmallow, tangerine, raspberries, jasmine, and it's perfect for cuddles. I love this. I haven't worn this for a long time. It's just a lovely sweet, but very grown up. It's a very responsible sweet perfume. <laughs> it's nothing like your pink sugars. It just expels oh, femininity it's very sultry and it just stays close to the skin it does last I would say up to four to six hours but it's a good one I love this and to be honest I only wear this in the autumn season I love this one of my favorites Dahlia Divan by Givenchy and this is the Eau de Toilette this is packed with oh god it's just packed with a fruity sexy punch it's been described as a multifaceted scent uh it's got i'm looking at my notes juicy blood orange peach jasmine sandalwood and vanilla musk and it's got a powdery trail i bought this for my birthday it makes me feel really warm it's got a lovely warm feel it's sexy and inviting it's gentle it's not very long lasting though i'm not gonna lie to you it's not very long lasting I would say you have to pack this up in a, a an atomizer if you're going to take this out with you because it will last for about four hours the EDT the EDP has a different type of scent similar but different and it lasts longer but the EDT is really good for spring summer early autumn it's really great for intimacy I'm telling you This is by Kylie Minogue, who is a actress and pop star. I love her music. She's so fun. She's so petite and she's just really pretty. So she had a range of perfumes that you can find. But this one is really tricky to find. It's kind of like a rare find, this perfume. But when they came out, they were literally like £15. They're not expensive at all. But this particular one, Kylie Minogue's Sexy Darling, is hard to find so if you can grab it for a collector's piece i think it will be worth your while now orange reminds me of the autumn that kind of burnt orange or that dried orange that blood red orange and that's because dried oranges are normally used within like homeware displays and decor like potpourri things like that kylie minogue sexy darling has red rose pear 
and sandalwood and also blood orange. Mm, I prefer the bottle to the scent to be honest. It has got a lot of really good reviews. I've never worn it in the early autumn or the autumn season. Yeah and it has got a very autumnal scent but it's not my favourite. It has kind of got like a woody, musky Mm, I'm not going to say dry down because I can smell it through the top, the heart notes, and I can smell it in the base. It doesn't kind of leave. And it has that kind of... It's nice, I'm not going to lie. It is nice. It's a nice every day. But to find this now is so expensive. I mean, is it worth spending like £30, £40 on this? Not really. But if you like it for the design, go for it. It's good. It's good. It's a safe bet it has that autumnal feel so you can't go wrong really and it's inoffensive mm. those of you who know me I have a kind of obsession with Jessica Simpson fancy it's kind of mentioned in nearly every video that I make I love this perfume I will always buy it I will spend a lot of money to get this exact scent because of the memories just to the memories that it evokes is worth the money to pay for this incredible scent. I love it. It's a, I would say this is like a carnival or funfair suited scent. Does that make sense? If I explain that, at this time of the year, in the United Kingdom anyway, we are looking forward to celebrations like fireworks night, we've got Diwali and Halloween. For those who celebrate Halloween and there are lots of fireworks all over central London it's crazy on November the 5th every year remember remember the 5th of November it's a massive explosion that fills the sky and I love it I always go and celebrate fireworks night there's loads of fun fairs and fireworks um, celebrations in lots of public parks all around London. Some you have to pay to get in and some are free access but you've got sparklers and you have fire throwers and you have entertainers and lots and lots of food stalls and especially toffee apples, caramel bites and candy floss. This scent, this beautiful scent, Jessica Simpson Fancy Eau de Parfum, it blends in with the atmosphere of that carnival funfair celebration. It's sweet, it's fun, and it's definitely sexy. Trust me. It's warm, oh, and it's got the most delicious notes. Oh my goodness. Mm. Pear, gardenia, jasmine, almond, definitely, caramel, deep vanilla, amber and sandalwood. It's one of my all time favorites. It's, it just is. I love it. With all the perfumes that I have, this one, I'm telling you, it's just been drawing compliments since the time I have purchased it. And it just is a feel good perfume. This was a fantastic blind buy. I think it's a great perfume for this time of the year. This is by Elizabeth Arden and this is called Always Red Femme. It's fantastic. First of all, let's talk about the bottle design. Love it. And I love that matte black finish. It does get a little, it's a bit of a dust attractor, but I just think it looks great. And look at the design. It kind of reminds me of the flowers that are in season right now. You have the dahlia and it has kind of has this beautiful metallic pink and red dahlia type of flower. So pretty. So. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of the dahlias in my garden. Again, we have a reoccurring choice of pear which is in season right now. Black currant, white florals and some woody notes. I haven't worn this for ages. <sighs> Do you know, it, 
Everything that I've sprayed is a fantastic layering combination, by the way. Nothing is um, clashing at the moment. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. It's got like a trail of very tolerable patchouli. Because as you know, I'm not the biggest patchouli fan, but the patchouli that's in here is tolerable, it's decent. Oh, it just blends well with um, the fruity and the sweet white floral notes. Mm. And it has um, patchouli and moss and cedar in the base. It's just got a radiant sweetness that's not overpowering and you can't go wrong. This is DKNY Be Delicious Sparkling Apple. Now apples are in season right now. I'm sure I've said that a few times, but I'm just making it. I'm just making a point here, guys. <laughs> Don't be afraid to wear fruity florals in winter months because there's a lot of flowers that are uh, in bloom and lots of fruits that are harvesting right now. We've got the Harvest Festival coming up as well. And you see these beautiful fruits and vegetables and root vegetables stacked up in these wicker baskets. And it just reminds me of this perfume. I really am attracted to the design of the perfume bottle. It's just a reminder that sparkling fireworks celebrations are drawing near. The freshness within this perfume reminds me of the autumn rain it's just not heavy it's not that weird horrible depressing kind of winter awful weather it's light it's refreshing when it rains in early autumn we always open the garden door we always open the front door as well and just look outside it's just lovely it's very fresh and and um, has just a lifting effect you know of your mood it's not like cloudy and overcast it's just light and fresh and you know it's, it's lovely. This is a fresh, fruity, green, sweet scented, fun perfume. I detect watermelon. There's red currant, there's some rose in here. There's lily of the valley and obviously that sweet, crunchy, crisp green apple. I do really like this. It's got kind of like a creamy effect to it as well, but I have to say, Hands down, I prefer the original, but this is just lovely for this time of the year. And where the original, if you have it, it's very similar. I had to get this bad boy. This is a Decadence by Marc Jacobs. Two years ago, this was released in London in autumn 2015. It has papyrus wood, Italian plum, which I love the sound of, and I love plums saffron liquid amber and i would say that this is one of the most talked about perfumes in recent years i think because the scent is so unique it's so unusual and come on guys it's this perfume bottle designed by mark jacobs i mean it's just fantastic it's just so chic and different and i love it i think that this is one of the most eye-catching perfume bottle designs in recent years and it's just it's going to really stand out in your perfume collection. I very rarely buy 30ml perfumes because I love to spray without worry. I love to spray my perfumes and just be happy and not think, oh, it's nearly finishing. But this little treasure is so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. This is Signorina by Salvatore Ferragamo. And I love it. I love this perfume. It has a joyful array of pink pepper, jasmine and rose. But what grabs me about this perfume, the scent, it's the panna cotta. The panna cotta and the most softest, sweetest, woody dry down. Oh, I love this scent. I'm going to be honest, I don't normally wear this on its own. I normally combine it with 
it's big sister it's big little sister <laughs> this is the edt version it's sweeter it's milkier it's creamy oh it's like you're wearing a italian dessert and at the same time it's chic it's grown up it's got um i think the woody notes makes it a bit more sophisticated so it's just not totally like smacking you with sweetness but the two together layered one of the best layering combinations that i have in my collection Boucheron Place Vendome. I bought this fragrance actually to wear at a fireworks event because when I went into the department store I smelt this. I don't know if it was this flacon, if it was another one, because they've got different variations of this um, Place Vendome collection. But it just smells, honestly, I don't drink champagne. That's a long story for the reason why. I just don't like the taste of champagne. I just overdid it one time in the south of France and that's another story for another t <laughs> another video but place fondom it smells like champagne what i imagine if champagne was in a bottle in a perfume bottle it would be this and it's sparkling it just has a sparkling kind of radiance about it i love this actually i grew to love it because it's lovely but i just wanted it because of the scent but on me it was kind of bothersome so I don't really wear it that often. I love when other people wear this though. When they come in, my friends come and try this on. It smells good on them. But when I wear it, I don't know, it's a bit bothersome. But I'm, it's grown on me. It's grown on me. It's nice. If you know, if a scent is kind of bothersome to you on the skin, maybe just spray it in your hair. Yeah. Oh, so good. Or on a scarf maybe. Lightly. You don't want to waste it. We've got jasmine petals in here creamy honey and you can definitely smell that i think that's that sweetness that i'm smelling that sparkling sweetness um rose delicate rose peony there is pink pepper which i think is the note that's bothering me a little bit i think and orange blossom delicate orange blossom <laughs> give it a try but there are different versions of this and there's a pink one and I think that's the one that's probably more suited to me but again it's a lovely reminder of the sparkles in the sky <laughs> I love this this is an oriental floral goddess this was a blind buy and if you like Tom Ford's Velvet Orchid it's in that kind of family but it's more I think it's got more of a feminine twist on it I think that the Tom Ford is more unisex I don't know I love them both but this is more affordable guys <laughs> and I just love the design I love the design of this look at the bottle anything animal print is is what I love I love it we have ginger blossom solar flower but the tiger orchid is what gives this perfume its lead note. The tiger orchid, which is, it just sounds so rare. Tiger orchid. <sighs> you have yangi yang and you also have night blooming jasmine. And it's a beautiful, solid, heavy weight to it. And it's a lovely gold, golden black design. And this is really good for your autumn date night evenings or wear it in the daytime. But I wore this in the evening and I got so many compliments, guys. I, do you know what? It's a sunny, warm scent. You know, it's deep, it's hot, it's feminine. But it just kind of, it's powerful. It, it's powerful to begin with. When you spray, it's powerful to begin with, but then it just kind of calmly settles and stays with you it does last but it's just strong and then it's just okay let's just chill and hang out and that's what I love about this oh, I love this scent. it's by Balmain and it's called ecstatic tiger orchid and I'm ecstatic to own it
I'm wearing All Fired Up on my lips by MAC. It's so moisturising. It's matte but moisturising. Rihanna Nude. This isn't a perfume, it's a body mist, but it's not expensive. It's a 236 ml body mist by Rihanna. And I, th I think I've had this for a year. I literally spritz it without even thinking. It's just lovely. I love this scent. It's just such a good handbag scent as well. And I like the design. And it's a really great everyday. If you're not really in the mood to wear your perfumes, this is really good. Good at bedtime, good to kind of spray around your hair and on your scarves. Or just like, you know, if you're just in the school run or you're just going to work and you're just having like a casual day, you're going shopping and you don't really want to wear your expensive perfumes. This is a really good body mist to wear every day. A good everyday spritz of goodness. It's got velvety white sandback. Creamy orange blossom. That orange blossom is leading these autumn scents that I'm showing you. And it's got guava, which I think is, that's the sweet note that I like in this. That is a really good mood lifter. And I'm telling you, I think that as we're approaching the darker, more gloomier seasons in London, especially like in London, or if you live in Europe and you know, you're not living like in the Mediter Mediterranean areas, you need a mood lifter because once all the flowers are gone, and once it starts getting darker and colder, you just want a cheer me up kind of scent. So this contains notes that will just lift up your mood, cheer you up, approaching the colder seasons ahead. Fresh, spicy, aromatic, amber, vanilla, rose. Hmm. Black pepper, nutmeg and vanilla. The base notes, is, the base notes has rosewood and amber and tonka bean. What an unusual perfume. It really is. This is by Colleen Rooney, who is a footballer's wife. She's a wag. If you ever hear the, um, if you ever hear the expression wag, it stands for wife and girlfriends. Normally, of footballers or, or celebrities. And Colleen Rooney is the wife of a tabloid favorite footballer. His name is Wayne Rooney, and she developed this perfume, which is a bit dusty. I'm just trying to polish it for you. I love the bottle design. It's fun. It's pretty. And yeah, it says it's called Butterflies and it's an eau de parfum. And you know what? It smells nothing like what it looks like. Nothing. This, right, is a boozy perfume. It's kind of reminds me of, um, hold on. It reminds me of, um, like autumn, winter party celebrations with Baileys, it smells like Baileys or bra with splashes of brandy and um, it's very warm. It's just, to me, it's unusual. I think it's kind of, it's so contrasting to what you would think is inside because you've got this beautiful pink, um, like amber bottle design with this beautiful kind of gold butterfly uh, necklace kind of, right? Like just wrapped on the side of the bottle. It smells nothing like what it looks like. Nothing. It's boozy. It's, um, I don't know. It's not very me, but I do wear it because of what it reminds me of. It just reminds me of fun times. It's kind of like a, almost, this might go into my Christmas perfume collection video because, you know, you can wear perfumes. You will probably see uh, repeats of perfumes and collections because I just like to keep it real, you know. But um, it's fun and I really, I really like the bottle design. But yeah, it's boozy Bailey's drink. Anyway, guys, let me just show you what I wore on my nails before I go. Marc Jacobs, and this is a nice oxblood nail colour. Jezebel, it's called, and it's from the Enamoured Marc Jacobs collection. I think I've shown that to you before. But um, I'm going to love you and leave you and just deliver lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of smooches. <sighs> Catch them. And I just hope that you enjoy this video. And please share with me what you're wearing this season. Maybe you can invite me to wear something new. And I'll 
and you know, I think there's a baby snail on that one. I think I need to give it a little bit of a rinse. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm sitting next to these flowers and they smell superb. The mixture of wildflowers and um, tea rose and mm, the salvias just smells so good. I love it. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. I'm uploading and posting new videos and you'll get updates from me soon. Just much love to you, okay? And look after each other. Be good human beings. See you later. Bye. Yeah.